Bottega for me was, you know, so far the highlight of the season. I thought Bottega was one of Thomas's best collection. And um, actually, I talked to him in depth last night, and he said that he was really tired of doing clothes that people could only wear once. It started out with all black. It was very kind of edgy, but it was easy to wear. I mean, he showed in the beginning everything with these beautiful flat sandals. The potato is absolutely Spot on. I mean, I don't know how else to describe it. It's, it's not a matter of Bottega being beautiful or Bottega being luxurious because it's always those things. I just think it was smart. I think the whole opening with the black dresses, the use of sport fabrics mixed in with super luxurious, you know, sort of Thomas-like fabrics was really clever. Tegonetta was really good. I mean, just stunning dresses and so easy. And the mix of the mesh with the cotton, and then those little bits of feathers and little bits of texture were really, really desirable. If you kind of go back through the show, you can see where, you know, even the long dresses that were supposed to be evening were actually dresses that you could wear repeatedly. said he worked really, really hard on the fabrications so that everything was really, really light as a feather. And he washed a lot of the fabrics, even the handbags were all washed. Those women came down the runway as if they had the afternoon off and were walking in the park. You had to envy these women because of the, the comfort they had in wearing those clothes. It's like if I, w I was a woman, I would sit there being unbelievably jealous. gray pantsuit that had the seam sort of on the outside, the silk dresses at the end, the little white dresses with like the perforated laser cut texture. I mean, and the kind of soft, relaxed um, luxury of it was just breathtaking. And it, it's so nice to see it up close. One piece referred to the next, but never repeated the piece before. 
and yet there was a comfort level that was astounding. Like you can't imagine ever like running in, like running into the house after a day and taking any of those pieces off because they look so like desirable to have on your body. The clothes looked so effortless and were so timeless and so beautifully made. I mean, it, it was quiet luxury all the way through. You know, people use, use the word effortless all the time and I think they use it sloppily. And there's nothing effortless about the clothes when you see them close up because the, the construction and the, and the level is, is, is so incredible in terms of the, in terms of the, the layering and, and, and the, the texturing of the fabric and the use of the materials and the quality of the materials. I think it's uh, everyone's everyone's looking for a way to do minimalism with a sort of artisanal feel or minimalism with it with a hand to it, and he just does that. Like there's no one else who just does that except him. And why not do it to the you know at the highest level in Milan? It's fantastic. You know, you see this two-dimensional uh, picture in, in the press, but yet there's so much that goes behind the thought and the process and the workmanship of it. I thought it was a beautiful collection. All those last dresses that were just those airy silk kind of caramel color dresses were really great. I mean, it's kind of exactly what you want to dress in summer. The three champagne dresses at the end, completely brilliant. Very grown up clothing, very, very modern and right for his customer and in a way right for fashion.